One of the greatest joys in life is worshiping. It is like uh, plugging in a cell phone to be recharged. Well, your soul needs recharged also. In John 4, 23 and 24, it says, An hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship God in spirit and truth. Yes, God wants such people to worship God. God is spirit, and those who worship God must worship in spirit and in truth. Well, perhaps you could find a Wednesday night service to go to at a church near you. If you do, you'll be recharged on Thursday and Friday if you really desire to receive God's comfort. You must be willing to worship God, not just on Sunday, but on Wednesday, and I'll go further, on every day of the week. God has a wonderful plan for your life, and an important part of that plan includes the time you set aside for praise and for worship. It can change your life. Every life including yours, includes some form of worship. The question is not whether you will worship, but what you will worship. If you choose to worship God, you're going to reap a bountiful harvest of joy and of peace and abundant blessing. So do yourself and also your loved ones a favor. Worship God with sincerity and with thanksgiving today and every day. Write God's name on your heart and rest assured that God has written your name on God's heart.